Did it ever happen that you had difficulties to control your sound while adjusting the sound post? That it made exactly the opposite? Stay tuned and I tell you why. Hello, hello, back again. This is Edgar from Cremona, Italy. I'm giving my best here to build the best sounding instruments and I'm sharing a little bit of my knowledge. And today I would like to go a little bit more into details when it comes to sound post position and the sound. A well fitted sound post is a guarantee that you can adjust the sound but it's not a guarantee for the best sound it sounds a little bit strange now but it could be that your violin sounds perfect and that you say ah let's go and let's see how my sound post looks like and you go with the mirror inside and you look inside and you see that the sound post is really bad adjusted and it's completely open along the side it doesn't really catch how it should be so then you start to adjust that sound post but immediately you will see that you have difficulties to move it and it never stays in that position you would love to and beside that if you have a very strong too strong e string and you want to move it away from the bridge towards the tailpiece and then you play it with the strings up and it is even stronger the E string that's a clear sign that your sound post is not well fitted a perfect sound post should be out of spruce the grain should be straight within the sound post. No sense you would make a sound post out of a piece of wood which was inclined inside. You try to have the grains as straight as possible in order that vibrations from the top go all the way down to the back. Years ago, I made my own sound post. Now I know this is a little bit of waste of time. So I get them done with specific wood, with specific qualities, costs immediately a little bit, you know. You have now your sound post perfectly in the right wood and everything and you adjust it now by adjusting a sound post you try to capture inside of the instrument this inclination and it is not a straight surface it's slightly in one direction the angle and in the other direction even like this it is not perfectly 90 degrees so when i adjust my sound post i use a chisel and then i make it like this the process because i see it very often that people put it against the working bench and then they wake up and then I say it's done it's not good because the spruce is breaking out on the other side and it could be the reason for some side effects we don't want we want a clean sound so how do I cut it with a chisel you make it slightly wet and you put the sound post next to your body you attach this one flat on it and then by twisting the sound post you can slightly slightly take away an edge and then the surface of course is not any more flat so i could double check it on the flat surface of my chisel and i look if it is all flat if it's not flat and usually it's not flat because in the middle you have a slightly bump then you try to cut within the middle and you scrape away you concentrate on the center of the sound post this is not a sound guarantee it's a guarantee that that surface is straight now when you put it inside into the violin we have difficulties to go that much into it I have my light which I put into the, the violin and then it, you see it better you peek it on your sound post setter and we put it in our correct sound post position you put it into it and when you cut it very nice and it is in the right position then you can very much see if it is fitting very well one thing is seeing the other one is testing it so so it's a little bit like with the you know remember the video with the bridge feeds it's more or less the same thing you can use lipstick or you can just look how it attaches or you can twist it a little bit and then you can see where is it touching and that's the point where you have to take away again so better one or two times more often take out the sound post of the violin and readjust it <sighs> and for those who want to make their sound adjustment experience. I created the sound adjustment kit, which you can buy. And you have everything inside what you need to adjust your sound post and set it into the right position. To go a little bit more into detail, we bump it up. I was searching here for a tube. Yep, 
Hoppa! This is our new sound post. It's a paper roll, right? But even paper rolls can attach to a surface. Let's say my hand is a surface. It's easier and quicker. Here it is inclined, right? A little bit like in the violin. And here you put in the sound post setter. Neat. When I put it inside, usually I make it slightly wet. And also the other ones in the workshop. Ah, this is nice here. So gross. Eh? Now you have it inclined. Usually to make a copy of a sound post, I use these devils and then make it one side. And then from the other side, I have a second one. And I can make exactly the copy of that one on another one if I have the two short sound posts. Let's say this one is of the top and then it's long and here's the back, right? If you put it on a surface and it would be slightly open on this side, let's say, and you move it and it is closing, later on it results a little bit more out but here it was on this area touching and if you move it a little bit too much like this it is farther more inside even so you were pulling out the sound post and the same is also on the sideways if it is slightly open and you move it away let's say the strong e string and by moving away it becomes even stronger it is because here it was here touching and now it results a little bit more further here instead of more far away so it makes exactly the opposite and beside that in case and very likely everybody who made a sound post knows that the sound post loves to dance if it's roll cut because if these surfaces are not correct cut and you put it into a violin but the sound post doesn't want to stay there it's always twisting and that one is going like this it's a clear sign the sound post always wants to go in its position where it feels more comfortable these cut how they are determines where it will go it will move as long until it's found its own perfect position because of these vibrations when you're playing or in worst case it's falling this is a very important crucial detail which actually i would love to see that all violin makers out there respect and make and they would have a better sounding result do you know why they don't do it leave your message down below here thanks for watching see you soon subscribe tell your friends ciao ciao